Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be my lip picks for July. So if you are new to my lip pick series, basically what I do is I go back through all of my videos that I posted the prior month and I share the lip colors that I chose to wear. I do a swatch of them on my hand and I also insert the photo of my makeup look that day with the corresponding lip color. So it's just one big old lip swatch video. I do kind of give my thoughts on the formula, color, things like that as well. So if you are a lipstick lover like me, I hope that you enjoy this series. I have been doing it for a while now it was inspired by Drea CN so I will have her channel listed down below and I will also have my lip picks playlist listed down below as well but in the month of July I believe I posted 27 videos so you always get a lot of swatches from me here and I think I was on camera for 26 of those videos so we have a lot of lip swatches to get through so to kick off July I posted a makeup I don't regret not buying I believe it was in my regret series I post a video on the regret series every single month I know I just posted my one for August pretty recently as well and in that video I was wearing NARS Roseland. So this is one of their velvet lip glides and I was just talking about this actually in my latest regrets video and I regret not trying these sooner. I really really enjoy these velvet lip glides and Roseland is one of my favorite colors right now. It's a beautiful rosy pink kind of like a hint of mauve in there as well. I love how comfortable the velvet lip glides are and Roseland is definitely one of my favorite shades at the moment. So there is Roseland. Um, the next day I did post a foundation to clutter so I was not on camera for that um, but the following day I posted an update to my 18 and 2018 project pan video and I was wearing it in their bite honeycomb so I have a little mini here of the bite honeycomb lipstick and I really really enjoyed these these are the amuse bouche lipsticks honeycomb is definitely a favorite shade of mine I feel like you see this one mentioned in a lot of my lip pick videos and it's just because it's one of my favorite nudes and it's a really nice formula as well I do really like these from bite beauty and the next day I posted a will I buy it video and I was wearing from Lancome. This is the shade Nude Votion and it is one of their matte shakers. So I really quite enjoyed these from Lancome. I first tried their juicy matte shakers which was more of like it almost felt like a lip oil. I didn't love them as much but I really have been enjoying these uh, matte ones here. So this one is in Nude Votion. I almost lost my notebook there. So kind of what you do is I just kind of unscrew the cap a little bit and then shake it up. And you can kind of hear that clicker sound, the matte shaker. I get it. And then this is what the applicator looks like. It's a little bit more challenging to apply it and get like a precise line and all of that. Um, but these are really interesting and really... Uh, when I first put it on, especially this one in Nude Motion, I was like... Okay, so this isn't like a matte lipstick, like like they were lying to me. Uh, here is that one right there in Nude Motion. Um, and I don't know if you'd be able to tell in the swatch, but it's just is a little bit more sheer and it feels almost more of like the lip oil that they had out as well. And I was like, there's no way that this is drying down matte and like it's even gonna have a lot of color on my lips. No, it actually really does and it's quite nice. It does dry matte, so you have like the matte finish, but it doesn't feel too dry in the lips. It doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick. It's so much more comfortable. And this is a really nice, it's almost kind of like a like a peachy pink nude, I would say. Or a little bit more on the peach side, I think. Um, but it's a really nice nude as well. And I just think the formula is really interesting, especially if you're someone who you don't love, love liquid lipsticks, but you like the matte look. That's kind of a good alternative as well. And then the next day I posted my lip picks video and I was once again wearing the nude Votion and then I just put a little bit of this Lancome gloss on top of it. Uh, there are several days where I film twice a day because I post videos six days a week, if not seven, normally it's six and I take Saturdays off. Uh, but I try not to film on the weekends. I try to have weekends be my time with my family and my friends and all of that. So if I post six videos a week but I only film five, we gotta double up sometimes. Uh, but this one here from Lancome, this is the Rosy Plump Gloss. I think it's the La Absolute. Yeah, the La Absolute Gloss. This one is just kind of more sheer, so I don't think you'll really be able to see much um, in the swatch. It has just like a hint, hint, hint of pink to it, if you can see it there. But it does kind of give your lips that plumping effect as well. And I think that one is really pretty, and I thought they paired pretty well uh, also. And then the next day, I posted a Get Ready With Me, and I was trying a few 
products from Urban Decay as well, including the Born to Run palette. And I used one of their lipsticks from the Born to Run collection. This one is in 66, and this is a comfort matte. I love the Urban Decay comfort matte formulas. It's one of my absolute favorites. And this one here in 66 is such a beautiful kind of deeper mauve. I think it's such a stunning color. I really enjoy this one. Uh, and again, I highly recommend the comfort mattes from Urban Decay, one of my favorite lipstick formulas. So next up, I posted my makeup monthly for the month of July, and I wore this one here from Maybelline. This is in Truffle Tease. This is one of their Color Sensation lipsticks, I believe it is. This has been one of my OG favorites for years and years and years. Maybelline lipsticks, I think, are so good. I think they're starting to become underrated, especially from the drugstore, uh, but these are such nice, nice lipsticks, and the color Truffle Tease is like one of my absolute perfect nudes, and I love this guy. And then the next day I posted a best brand buys where I was giving recommendations to ColourPop and also Urban Decay, the top products that I would recommend from them. And I wore in there from Burberry. This is the Fawn Liquid Lip Velvet. This is a really nice color. I go back to it a lot, um, even though it's, it's Burberry and it's really expensive, but this is a really nice color and I really do like the formula. It's kind of more of that liquid lipstick, but it's a lot more comfortable with that like velvet finish. It's kind of more of like a satiny feel on the lips but it does dry almost completely matte as well and again I really like that kind of deeper nude almost like with a hint of that rosiness to it uh, so I really do enjoy fawn and then the next day I posted a YouTube tips video so if you're a YouTuber if you haven't caught that one I give I think it's six tips for like YouTube growth success all of that and they're like actual tips and not just like be yourself have fun <laughs> like I tried to give like real tips in there that you know you can actually use uh, and I had a lot of fun making that video I wore a little combo in here with a lip liner and then also another one here from NARS so the lip liner that I wore is in MAC SOAR um, it's just a really nice pinky lip liner I quite enjoyed this one and then the lipstick I wore is from NARS this is one of their full vinyl lip lacquers and this is in Santo Domingo and this is like one of my favorite pairings right now I saw Katie or Luster Lux use was it this combo? I think she used a different one from MAC. I can't remember. I want to say she used something from MAC that I didn't own a lip liner, so I grabbed out Sore, but then she used this one from NARS, and I absolutely love the lip combo, and as soon as I got done watching her video, I was doing my makeup, and I did the exact same lip combo, and I love it. I love it so much. This, oh, this color from NARS, man, I'm telling you, it is so pretty. Look at that. Mm, mm. I really enjoy that combo. I have worn it like out and about as well um, but I think that's a pretty stunning combo so thank you so much to Katie for that uh, the next day I posted a will I buy it video and I wore another one here from Urban Decay this is again one of the comfort mats and this is in trip again I own a lot of the comfort mats from Urban Decay and I think it's just a fabulous formula this one is kind of more on like that almost like brick red like it's not like a true true red it's almost kind of like the brown red you know when we say like the grungy 90s that's kind of what trip reminds me a little bit of um but i think it's a really nice color as well so that one there is from urban decay so next up i posted an indie brand reviews video and in there i wore this one from carity i was reviewing the carity lip lock liquid lipsticks in there as well and the shade that i wore that day is in fade out these are nice liquid lipsticks and they're pretty affordable as well they're not my like absolute like must have liquid with lipstick formula they're a little bit more on the drying side um, but I found that they're really nice as well if you're looking for an indie brand or a more affordable liquid lipstick you could check these out um, so this is the one in fade out and this is a really nice kind of like pink mauve again as well obviously we can always we can always tell from these videos what lip colors I prefer to wear okay <laughs> uh, next up I posted uh, the Aries picks my makeup or the dog picks my makeup challenge I did it with my visual Aries it was hilarious to do she is I mean she's the star in that video I don't know I think she's pretty much the star of this YouTube channel my Instagram my Instagram stories my snapchat like people come for her more than they come for me because she's hilarious her personality I felt like really shined through at parts in that video as well but the look color that she chose for me was from NARS one of the velvet lip glides because you know she knows what's up and this is in the shade xenon so again i really enjoy the nars velvet lip glides and xenon is a really nice color as well it's a 
more on the mob side. Got, got a lot of mobs going on this month, don't we? Um, but there is the swatch of Xenon right there. And then also for the next video that I posted, it was my all-time drugstore favorites. And I, again, was wearing NARS Xenon as well. So um, that was definitely a day where I was doing double filming. The video that I posted was the sample didn't make me buy it, all about makeup that I've tried a sample size of and I was not convinced to purchase the full size. And I wore a MAC combo in there. You see this combo almost every single month in these little lip pick videos. The lipstick that I wore is in Stripped, which is a really, really light nude. Uh, I can wear this one by itself, but typically I like to wear it with a lip gloss or with a darker lip liner because it is a really light nude and my like one of my favorite lip glosses just in general but one of my favorite mac lip glosses as well is under the sheets so this is a really beautiful gloss and it has a little bit of sparkle to it as well and i just think it's stunning and just a lip combo that you see in these videos quite a bit the next video was a hits and misses video reviewing some products that I had tried recently, a bunch of ColourPop products in there, and I had a ColourPop duo on my lips. So I had the lip liner in O Snap, and then this was a collaboration with I Love Sarah E, an ultra glossy lip in Atoli. So O Snap is a lip liner that I've had for quite a while, and I've recently started getting back into wearing lip liners. So there is O Snap, just a really nice pinky nude obviously. Uh, but I've been getting more into lip liners. You've been seeing them in the lip picks, wearing them under a gloss, wearing them under a lipstick. Uh, I'm just kind of getting more and more into them. And then the gloss that I wore over it, like I said, is the one in collaboration with I Love Sarah E, the Atoli gloss. And this one has a little bit of, not a little bit, this one is more of like kind of a metallic finish, I would say. So that one there is Atoli. If you can see, it is a gloss. So it's, it's, it's not super, super sheer. Again, it has more of that metallic finish to it, but I thought it was nice. I tried some ColourPop glosses when they first came out, and I was really not a fan of them. And then I got this one. Um, ColourPop did let me pick out a couple items, and they sent me a PR package. So I decided to try a gloss again just to see if I changed my mind. I still don't think that these are going to be like my top favorite lip glosses, but they're pretty inexpensive, and I like them more than the ones that I first tried when they first came out with glosses. And ColourPop is kind of known for switching up their uh, formulas quite a bit, so I wouldn't be shocked if it changed because it felt like a lot less goopy on my lips and just more comfortable than what I remembered from the first time around. So it's kind of what I think about the glosses. And then the next video I posted was a Will I Buy It video, and I did another ColourPop pairing. So I did the Atoli gloss, but I also paired it with another collaboration with I Love Sarah E. This is an ultra satin lip, and this is in 951. I kept going back and forth when I Love Sarah E did her collaboration because I bought the eyeshadow palettes that she did, and I decided not to go with the lip products because... ColourPop lip products like the Ultra Satin and the Ultra Mattes, they're really inexpensive, but I don't feel like the formula lasts for a long time, and I feel like it changes and goes bad really quickly, and I have a really big lipstick collection, so sometimes even if it's cheaper, it's not necessarily worth it for me because I'm still not getting a lot of use out of it, but I, I went ahead I went ahead and requested it, and I'm so glad that I did because I really enjoyed 951. It's a beautiful, again, one of those like dark nudes on me, but I think it is such a nice color. I definitely like the Ultra satins more than the ultra mattes they're more comfortable and i think that they don't go as bad as quickly they don't go bad as quickly as the ultra mattes do so i'm glad that i got this little pairing here uh, from ColourPop. The next video I shared was all about brands that I loved before PR and some of my favorite products from them. And again, I wore a lip liner lip gloss combo. So this liner is from MAC and it is in Edge to Edge, which again is just a really nice kind of more pinky lip liner. And then I paired it with the Becca Gloss in Opal. I really like this gloss. I just reviewed it recently on my channel. Really nice, really smooth gloss. And I really like Opal. It's really light, more of like the sheer lip gloss, but it has just a little bit of sparkle in there too. Too, so I really liked that pairing and then the next video that I posted I was also trying out some new makeup and so I did another lip combo in here the lipstick that I tried was one from pure and this is in guest list so pure cosmetics recently came out with a like sweet 16 themed collection to celebrate 16 years and so they had a it's a three lipstick set and then it also has a lip gloss in it so you get four lipsticks in the set and so I tried out Guest List from there, and it's a nice nude. I didn't mind the color at all, but I don't really like the feeling of this. It feels like there's grit in the lipstick, which is very strange. And I tried another one from the set too, and I felt the same thing. And I don't know, they're just... 
they're just not my favorite I would say I didn't mind the color though um, but then I also tried this guy here from Buxom and this is in Mariah this is what oh, doesn't or does it say on here this is the plumping lip polish and these are like the lip toppers and again it has a little bit of like a holographic feel to it I think it's supposed to be so that one there if you can see is the buxom Mariah I actually didn't really love this one it was really really goopy and it just kind of felt like super thick on the lips I tried it again without a lipstick because I just even though usually the actual lipsticks don't really throw off the lip gloss formula too much I just wanted to make sure that I tried it again and I still just didn't I didn't quite love it which is strange because I like a lot of the buxom lip products including their their lip polishes and I've never really had that kind of issue with it but that one wasn't my favorite uh, the next video that I posted was my Beautylish wish list and again I filmed right after trying new makeup so I had the same lip pairing on uh, so the next one was a best and worst video again reviewing some new makeup products and I had on another lip one here from another lip one another lip lock from Carity. This one is in Tamar. So again, like I mentioned, it's a nice liquid lipstick formula, but nothing that I like lost myself over. Uh, this one is a really nice kind of like that true pink liquid lipstick. So that one is from Carity in Tamar. And then the next video I posted was my minis makeup collection. You guys know I've been doing a bunch of minis videos recently. I love makeup minis. I think they're great. And I did a lip liner lip balm combo here. So the lip liner is from ColourPop and it is in Lumiere. This was a collaboration with Kathleen Lights from a while back. So that one is Lumiere. It's kind of like a dusty, mauve -y pink I would say and then the lip balm I mean you've been hearing me talk about this lip balm for a while now in my lip pick videos especially this is from NARS it is in orgasm it's the afterglow lip balm it is such a nice lip balm I don't know why I, I swatch it because I mean it's it's a lip balm it's very sheer but it's so smooth it's so nice on the lips I wear this by itself all the time as well it's such a good lip balm so in my next will I bite video I wore this one here from Palladio this was in collaboration with Casey Holmes one of my favorite YouTube this is in the shade Georgia and Georgia is more of that peachy pink as well I, I like these liquid lipsticks again I don't think they're like my absolute favorite formula like I feel like I need to be in a certain mood when I go for these because I did buy all three of them myself all three shades because they are extremely like extremely long wearing liquid lipsticks and if I'm just going to be sitting down to film and then like I'm going to work out or eat or something I actually don't want to wear these because they're so hard to get off my lips but if you're going somewhere and you need your lipstick to last for hours and hours and hours I would recommend these um they're a little bit more drying as well and I think it's because they are so super long wearing but for the most part I do still enjoy these uh and then the next video I posted was my beauty empties. I was going to say makeup empties. This is my empties video that I do every month. And I wore in here another one from Urban Decay, another comfort mat. This one is in 1993. So this one is definitely more of kind of like a grungy lipstick, I would say. It's kind of more of that brown, kind of like that again I'm gonna say 90s like the 90s brown. Uh, but I really do quite like 1993 as well. The next video that I posted was again a trying new makeup video and in there I actually did a bunch of lip swatches with Buxom products so uh, here we go. I didn't have too much to try out in that video so I was like let's go ahead and, and do some, some lip swatches here because Buxom sent me a nice package for I think it was like National Lipstick Day. I swatched Confidential which is a plump line lip liner so it's kind of again like a peachy lip liner which I've been feeling. I've been liking the peachy lips lately. I also swatched Peyton, which is a full-on lip polish, and I liked Peyton. I didn't have any issues with this one like I did the, the one um, with Mariah. So again, this one is a little bit more sheer, more of a gloss, but it does have a nice kind of like mauve little pigment to it as well. I also swatched in their White Russian, and this is one of the gel matte lipsticks. Again, I just touched on these in makeup. I regret not trying sooner. I really, really like this formula, and I love the color of White Russian. These are so comfortable, but they do look more matte on the lips, but they're comfortable. They're so easy to apply, and I love White Russian. 
I also swatched in there, this one is in Peach Daiquiri, and this is a full-on lip cream as well. I don't have um, pictures of me with all of them since I was just swatching them and taking them off, but just thought I'd let you know that. That one is Peach Daiquiri, which that one is probably like the most sheer out of all the ones that I swatched. Um, so if you do want to see them on my lips, I'll have the video linked down below. And then the last one and the one that I kind of ended the video on is one of their Vava Plump lipsticks, and this one was in Feel the Passion. So I've kind of run out of room here, but that is the pink one right here, and that's the one that I'll have the photo that I'll be able to insert. I still need to try this particular formula a little bit more um, as I get my review ready for that follow-up video, but whew, those were all the buxom swatches that I did. I also posted a video in July on my top six, I think it was, favorite neutral slash everyday palettes. <laughs> I was so excited for that one. And in there, I once again wore from I Love Sarah Ian Color Pop the 951 lipstick. So that was a repeat there. And then the next video I posted was another Hits and Misses video or review style video. And I wore an Urban Decay combination. This one is in Naked. So this is a cream lipstick formula, which I'm not as big of a fan of the cream, cream lipsticks as I am the comfort mattes. I just prefer to have like a little bit more... Like I like my lipsticks to be a little bit more opaque, especially since I have dry lips and sometimes like cream formulas, I feel like can really emphasize it more, which is weird because you would think matte ones would, but eh, it's the other way around for me. Uh, but that one is the shade Naked. So it's a nice pink, but it's pretty pale. So usually I do like to wear a lip gloss over it. And so the lip gloss that I chose out was in Fuel. I really do like these lip glosses from Urban Decay as well. Um, most, like the majority of the ones that I've tried have been like fairly pigmented, especially for a lip gloss. They have a nice scent to them as well. And again, I just think that they're a really comfortable gloss. So that was the combo that I did. And then the last video that I posted in July was a Drunk Elephant review video. It was my part one review video on a few Drunk Elephant products. And I wore in there a matte lipstick from Morphe. This is like one of their mega matte lipsticks, I think it is. Um, there's five different shades, they're all reds. And the one that I kept for myself is in the Lover. These aren't my favorite lipsticks, um, but I do like this red. It's kind of more like an orangey red. I think it's described as a watermelon red. And I do like the color of it a lot. It's just not my favorite formula, and I feel like I just kind of have a hard time like making my lips look like evenly lined and all of that and filling them in because bullet matte lipsticks just aren't my favorite and I just kind of struggle with them. But I think the color is pretty cool and I don't have a lot like that in my collection. So I find myself reaching for it quite a bit. So I love that we had pretty much like the majority of nudes and mauves and rosy colors. And then at the very end of the month, we got a red. <laughs> like I just had to like sneak that one in there real quick. So Woo. But after that, those are all of my lip picks for the month of July. All right, guys, so that is everything for today's video, going over all of my lip picks in the month of July and swatches. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you're still enjoying the lip pick series, please do let me know in the comments if you want to see the one for August as well. But other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.